Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a mascara review and it's on an item that I recently repurchased and I showed in a haul video not too long ago. And it's this Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. And if you don't know, Revlon has kind of revamped their entire mascara line in the past few months. They've actually discontinued all the mascaras that they had previously and launched this new collection. And they all have this kind of sleek, ovalish, oblong type packaging with a black matte bottom where the product is. It's kind of a little bit like some of the NARS packaging, but maybe a little bit less rubbery than those are. And then a plastic cap that's a different color depending on which mascara in the line you choose. And they have a good selection. I want to say they have at least like four or five different ones to choose from, which is really exciting to see because I gotta be honest, I wasn't really a fan of any of the mascaras that Revlon had out previously. I had tried several of them and I just wasn't really a fan of any of them. So I was pretty pumped to see that they had just kind of revamped their line and launched this whole new collection. So as I said, I did repurchase this mascara recently, so obviously I do like it, but actually when I first tried it, I, when I got my first two back a couple of months ago when it was like brand brand new, I actually didn't like it at all when I first started using it. I felt like it was really clumpy, really wet, and I actually don't mind wet formula mascaras per se. There's actually some of them that I really like, but I just felt like this one was too wet, too hard to work with, and I just didn't like what it did for my lashes. I didn't like the end result, so I figured, okay, I have it, I'll use it up, but it's not my favorite. But as the weeks went on and I continued to use it, it actually grew on me a lot. And I think that's because two things happened. Number one, as I use this mascara, you know, and this happens with pretty much all mascaras, but as you use it, you know, you take it out, put it back, and, you know, some air gets down into the tube and it can dry out the formula a little bit. And that definitely happened with this. And, I mean, it's still overall a wet formula, but it dried out just a touch, just enough to make it a little bit less clumpy and more workable. So I liked that, definitely liked it better the more it dried out. And secondly, I just kind of got used to this mascara's individual little quirks because if you know what I'm talking about, I feel like sometimes mascaras just there are little tricks that you need to figure out, and if you can figure those out, you can definitely get the best application from it. And so what I learned about this is that, one, if you apply it slowly, it looks better. Um, you know, sometimes I would just kind of take it out and, you know, just throw it on quickly like any old mascara, and I found that when I did that, I got more clumping and I just didn't get as even of an application when I would kind of, you know, get it at the base of my lashes, wiggle it up and just comb it through more slowly and more evenly. I really thought it looked a lot better. I got better separation, better definition, more length, more volume and my lashes didn't stick together as much. So um, I just feel like you know, this mascara looks good the less you mess with it. Like, I find that two coats of this is really all I need, and if I kind of go beyond two coats and maybe start to like layer a third, then it can also start to get clumpy. Even if I'm being careful and applying it slowly and nicely, the more you mess with it and the more you add, it tends to kind of clump up. It doesn't really build as well on itself. So I, I mean, I love to, you know, pile on the mascara, but when I'm using this, one or two coats is all I do. And it really does look nice. You can see that um, I'm wearing it today. And I didn't do any like eyeliner 
on my upper lash line so you could really see the effect. But, you know, and I do have some footage of me applying it earlier, but I really like this look, you know? It has, I think it has good length, good definition, good separation, some nice volume, and that's really what the claims of this product are. I mean, hence the name Ultimate All-in-One. You know, they claim that this is going to be the thing that gives you all the length, all the volume, all the separation, all the definition, just everything you could ever want in a mascara all in this one tube. And like I said, I think that it can give you a nice result if you're willing to work with it. And let me show you the wand. I just realized I haven't done that yet. Um, if you see here, it's a small rubber brush. And as I turn it here, it's kind of sectioned off and it has sections with some pretty short spiky rubber bristles and then there's also these areas with like a deep groove in them. I'm like focusing in on one right now. I don't know if you can see that but there's like these little wells, a couple of them throughout the wand and I feel like the way this was designed is so um the bristles are kind of designed to lengthen your lashes and then the little grooves that do hold a little bit of product are kind of there for the volume. You know, I kind of, I think that's kind of what they were going for when they designed this. And that's how I like to use it. But overall, I do like it. And I feel like this mascara would be something that you might like too if A, you don't mind a wetter formula because like I said, even once it does dry out a little bit, it's still overall a wet mascara. And I think if you don't mind kind of being patient with this, taking your time, giving it like that week or so that it needs to just dry out a little bit and reach its prime formula. And if you don't mind <laughs> that it's a little bit more temperamental and you do have to be more careful with the application. Like, you know, I'm a makeup lover, obviously, and unless I'm in a huge rush, I don't mind working with this mascara. I'll take my time. I'll, you know, do it carefully because I know that's going to give me the best result. And I'm fine with that. And if you're the same way and you don't mind kind of giving this mascara the the special care and the, the carefulness, I guess, that it deserves and that it needs to look its best, then you might enjoy it. However, if you just heard everything that I have to say and you're like, God no, I, that sounds way too high maintenance like way too much of a pain I just no I would not want to deal with that at all and you just want a mascara that's like one and done you can put it on any which way one coat or five coats and it's gonna look great no matter what I would totally recommend to you the CoverGirl Super Sizer oh this is like my favorite mascara of life right now it's so nice it has this kind of interesting wand with like some flat sections and then some kind of comb like bristles but this is fabulous and this is the kind of thing this is like the complete opposite of this in the sense that it just it looks great no matter what you know you can just throw it on quickly you can be more careful and it's gonna look amazing at least on my lashes it always looks amazing no matter what no matter how I apply it and I've heard other people say that too so I would more, if you heard what I said about this one and were just like, no thank you, and you're looking for another mascara recommendation, I would steer you towards this one. This is, I think, a real kind of crowd-pleasing mascara, in my opinion. But, oh, one more thing I did want to address about this is the staying power. I haven't had any issues with this, like, smudging or transferring down under my eyes, you know, because I do have really oily skin, and an oily eye area so sometimes that can happen but I haven't had any issues with 
like smudging or transferring under the eyes. Something that I do notice with this, and it's not every time that I wear it, but something that I have noticed sometimes is a tiny bit of flaking down under the eyes and kind of like onto this area and it's not like I put it on and within an hour or two it's flaking. I mean it, it gets me through the day looking nice and lasting well but sometimes I'll notice like if it's the end of the day and I'm going to take it off I will have a few little flakes. Not every time as I said but it's just something to be aware of but I have noticed that happening from time to time with this. So, I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, overall, as I said, I like it. I think if you're willing to kind of pamper it and give it the, the special attention that it needs to look its best, you might enjoy it too. And let me know if you have tried this or if you've tried any of the mascaras in Revlon's new line. This is the only one that I've tried so far, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts if you've tried any of them. So that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.